Elon Musk recently sat down at the West Point U.S. Military Academy for a conversation at the launch of their new theme called The Human and the Machine, Leadership on the Emerging Battlefield. While I'm providing a link to the full video in the notes section below, here are the key snippets. How does Elon Musk see the future of warfare? How do you see warfare transforming in the future? I mean, the biggest effect, I think, by far, is AI and drones. Uh, so the, the next, well, in fact, the, the current war in Ukraine uh, is very much a drone war already. Uh, it's, it's sort of a contest between Russia and China, so you can deploy the most number of drones. Giving localized, the drone localized AI, um, because if the, if the AI is far away, it can't control as well as localized AI. So what do you mean by localized AI? Meaning it's autonomous scaling machine. <laughs> Completely autonomous. Well, you give it the okay yeah. in a particular arena and, it's just, and it goes. What does U.S. need to do to be prepared for future warfare? The United States is strong in, in terms of the technology of, of the items, but the production rate is low. So it's, it's, a, it's a small number of units, relatively speaking, but, but, but with the, basically, I think there's, there's, a, there's, a, there's a production rate issue. Like, the, the, if you say, like, how fast can you make drones? It's like if, if you say there's a drone conflict, the outcome of that drone conflict will be um, how many drones does each side have in that particular skirmish uh, times the kill ratio. So if, if you've got, you can have a, if, uh, let's say we would, the United States would have a, drone, a set of drones that have a high, have a high kill ratio, uh, but then uh, the other side has far more drones. If you've got a two to one kill ratio, the other side has four times as many drones, you're still gonna lose. Do you think our industrial base can scale to make the volume of drones that you're, you're just you're, you're, you know, talking about? I think that's, that's gonna be the, 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 the biggest challenge. Do we need human pilots if warfare will be dominated by drones? There's not, no, I'm not sure there's a lot of room, opportunity for fighter pilots. Because um, I, I think the, if you've got a drone swarm coming at you, uh, it, what, what, the, the, the pilot's a liability in the fighter plane, to be honest. Uh, so, you know, if, 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 if you say, like, you compare uh, a drone versus a fighter plane, how easy is it, is it to make a drone? It, you, could, you, could, you can, it's an order of magnitude, maybe a hundred, at least, at least 10, maybe a hundred times easier to make the drone, and you can afford to sacrifice the drones. Whereas the pilots, you don't want to sacrifice the pilots. So my, uh, my guess is that actually the, the age of, of human piloted fighter aircraft is coming to an end. What's the role of space in future warfare? Yeah, so, well, I mentioned, I mentioned the space-based communications is, is critical. Like if you can't communicate, you don't know what's going on, you can't receive orders, you can't report information. Um, and, uh, it, and whether it's a human or a drone, they need communication. So you've got to have communications, any ground-based communications like fiber optic, fiber optic cables and uh, cell phone towers will be destroyed. So it's, it's basically only all you've got are basically analog radio radios and, uh, and then for, but for any kind of data communications, it's space-based. Um, and then while GPS has been a factor for a long time, GPS jamming at this point is pretty easy because uh, the GPS signal is, is a, it's a weak signal. So it's easy to ja do GPS jamming. Um, so having sort of a next generation a system that can provide positioning is, is going to be very important. Um, my space can also probably offer, you know, the, the ultimate weapons where you just have, um, you know, tungsten cannibals from orbit. Um, how about offensive weapons in space? Do you see those? That's what I mean by rods from God. Yeah. <laughs> and so if you have like, you know, they talked about this in the Star Wars program in, in the 80s, but this is certainly something that can be done, which is you have uh, just kinetic weapons from space or space-based lasers. Um, Starlink system technically does have lasers, um, but they're, they're low-power lasers uh, for now. Yeah. <laughs>